the first framework I would love to introduce you to are uh, the R metrics from Dave McClure that he introduced like, I know, maybe like eight or 10 years ago by now. This is the framework that almost all uh, US accelerators and investors use to measure the performance of the startups. R also happens to be a nice pirate word, so of course I adopted it. So R stands for acquisition, activation, retention, referral, revenue. Activation means getting, uh, acquisition means getting people to your website and making them become a first time registration or a first time purchaser or something like that. Yeah, but when they're in your product, it does not mean that they're activated. Uh, called CSGO skills, uh, which helps you to become a better Counter-Strike player. Yeah, and it now has 900,000 downloads, but only 600,000 ever opened the app. <laughs> yeah, and uh, out of those, only 400,000 ever used the product. Yeah, and that is already decent. Now, if I look back a month later, I have about 15,000 new people coming in uh, each, each month. And they should be all active, right? And then if I look next month, it's only 5,000 people. So just getting people to install your app is not enough. Getting people to use the app for the first time is a huge hurdle so that they get real value out of your product. Then keeping them around, that's the hardest one because you actually need a quality product. Yeah, that's the magic that Netflix is in. Their ability to keep the people month of a month of a month they can invest over a year of costs, uh, of revenue per customer into the acquisition because they know they will stay around for years on average over, over the whole customer base. Yeah? And then of course I would like to have some referrals because every referral that comes in, imagine two people out of 10 refer uh, the product. Oh, my cost per acquisition just got 20% cheaper. Yeah, if I'm in a competitive race, uh, then 20% cheaper cost per acquisition is the world. And then of course revenue. I need to be able to finance all of the fun we had before, the product, the acquisition, the salespeople. Um, and I've got to get a customer lifetime that is higher than all of the fun before. So if you have those areas in mind, and if, if I always imagine them like on this treasure map as, as a user flow, and I try to visualize like, where am I most stuck? Where are my customers most stuck? And this is where I attack. We're going to talk more about this during the how to find your North Star metric. Yeah, but this is the fundamental framework I use when I think about analytics across all tools, not just Facebook analytics. But then let's say you have decided my goal is to get, um, as in your case, like 30 leads per day. Yeah, 30 B2B leads per day would be wonderful. Those would be like 200 per week. Uh, that's a nice number to start with. Um, what can I do to get there? And I use this simple process um, to, to help me uh, get there the fastest in a data-driven way. I first create ideas. Oh yeah, what could I do? I could get better traffic. I could improve the landing page. I could improve the offer. I could improve the number of form fields I'm using on my landing page. Uh, I could retarget them, but not all of those ideas are created equal. Some are more, take more time, some have more impact, some we are more sure about actually being able to perform and some not. Yeah? So I have to prioritize those ideas because I only have so much time to do all of this stuff and I want to invest my time wisely. Yeah? Uh, I'm thinking about this like in chess. Uh, I, I see like six moves, but I can only make one at a time. And Gary Kasparov and I, we have different opinions on which move to do first. That's the only difference between me and Gary. We all know the same rules. Then we need to put them to the test, where those moves actually wise uh, to even perform. And we do this by analyzing after we have performed the test successfully. And then hopefully we gain some insights on what worked and what did not work. Um, and we can generate some new ideas. Repeat, set new target, achieve it, ideas, prioritize. So this makes it obvious that analytics just makes your marketer life easier. Yeah, to be, just look at the charts and make it super clear, oh yeah, that's the better campaign. Now we can split it down, which gender, which age group, with which placement, 
uh, which interest group was the most uh, interesting. Just keep on verifying that we got the right people until we hit the point where we can scale the business. Yeah, because we suddenly have a cost per acquisition that is lower than the customer lifetime value. Then we can spend as much money and time uh, as we love to.